I hit enter twice. It looks like it shrunk, but we resized it and cropped it in the same step. I'm going to hit control to go to fit in the screen. Control has to go out just a little bit. I'm going to double click the background. Name the layer. The scenario is you're creating this photo for a bed and breakfast web page. So now we are going to fix the color. First, we're going to go to image. And first thing I want to do is auto color. Okay, so image auto color, then adjustments, and then we're looking for levels. Now you can grab this and move it. You can move any of these. Uh, levers to make adjustments but ultimately I have this one on 1.0 and this one on 200 and down here this should just stay as is Now we're going to make it have a canvas and it's going to make it look like it has a transparent background so we can add a stroke. Go to image, canvas size, and our canvas size has to be bigger than the photo. So the width is going to be 590 in pixels and 390. And you press enter. Now when we add a stroke and a shadow, you'll be able to see that. Next step we're going to do is you're going to use the control key and hold it and actually click on the thumbnail over here. So we're going to control and click and you'll see that the outside edge of the photo is selected. And I'm going to put it on the outside. Stay at center. Change it to white like an actual photograph. Click OK. And the size of it is going to be 4 pixels. You can see the white edge is added to the photo. Now we should be able to go over here to find blending options. And you could have added a stroke here, but we're going to add a drop shadow. And notice I clicked on the word, not just select, I clicked here. So I'm going to move this so I can see what I'm doing. This angle is what controls the shadow, right? Our shadow is going to be black. I'm going to make the opacity a little bit darker. And you'll see as I change the angle. All right, so the distance, there we go. Now you can actually see it. So you can play around with the angle, but 120 right there. Distance. Spread. 
head is at 20%, and this is according to the textbook I used, and the size 10. You can see the shadow pretty well. Now, I can make the opacity a lot darker. In the book, they've got it at 75%, so let's just go on and... And click OK. Now you've got a shadow, a fixed photo, and a stroke. Hit Control D to deselect. You need to save this much. I'm going to save it as a um, JPEG. Master bed. Pay attention to where you save it. I'm going to put it in my pictures. I just hit OK on all this. That's it. That's what you have for this particular video.